What is up you guys? Welcome back to our class. This is Pharmacy Informatics Week 3 and for today's topic, we'll be dealing with your ISP which means your information search process. But before we proceed to a deeper understanding of your ISP, let us first have a brief history of your ISP. The ISP model was developed by Carol Kultau at Rutgers University. With what goal? To align the feelings, actions, and thoughts that students experience as they engage with the various stages of the research process. Kultau has since done many studies and found people all their lives all go through the same process and task and feelings while they are searching for and dealing with new information. But the question is, why do we need to initiate the information search process? That is because of uncertainty. Uncertainty means we are not sure of the information. Uncertainty causes anxiety and lack of confidence. Both are observed in the early stage of research process. The ISP model helps shift the uncertainty to confidence. Let us have a deeper explanation of the ISP model. The ISP model describes the user's experience in the process of information seeking as a series of feelings, actions, and thoughts. Or in short, we have this word, FAT. When we're talking about feelings, we're talking about anxiety and doubt that becomes more confident and certain. And when we're talking about actions, people seek information relevant to the general topic and ends to a specific topic and when we're talking about thoughts it starts as uncertain vague or unclear and becomes clearer more focused and specific as the search process progresses so dito guys yung ISP model gusto niyang explain yung experience na nararanasan ng ating researcher and pinag-uusapan nga natin yung ating fat, the feelings, the actions, and thoughts. So let us now proceed to our main point. But before we go to our main point, let's have the flow of discussion. Paano ba yung magiging flow of discussion natin guys? First, we'll be talking about a stage and its description. By the way, we'll be having six stages. So one stage, we'll be talking about description. The fat, yung feelings, actions, and thoughts on that stage, and the task for that specific stage. Okay, so let us now proceed to our first stage of your ISP model. The first stage is called your initiation. Initiation is when a person becomes aware of a lack of knowledge or understanding. So, meron siyang hindi naintindihan or hindi clear sa kanya. Ibig sabihin, nasa initiation stage tayo. Again, your flow of discussion natin would be feelings, actions, thoughts, and tasks. Tandaan, your feelings, your actions, your thoughts, and your task ang pag-uusapan natin. So, mamaya, magbabanggit ulit ako ng another stage. Then, pabanggitin natin kung ano feelings, actions, thoughts, and tasks na nangyayari sa stage na yun. So, feelings in your initiation stage would be uncertainty and apprehension. So, there is a fear of something bad will happen. Actions naman, we are seeking topics to pursue. So, ano ba yung topics na kailangan nating i-research? Thoughts on the other hand, center on contemplating the problem. So, yung isip natin, gusto natin, masagot natin yung problema na yun. And ang task natin is to recognize a need for information. And that's it for your initiation stage. Let us now proceed to our next stage. But before that, I have a question. So, did you get the flow of discussion? <laughs> yes, na ko yan. Again, feelings, action, thoughts, and tasks yung gusto nating malaman per stages. Let us now proceed to the second stage of our ISP model, which is called your selection. Selection is when a general area topic or problem is identified and there is now a readiness to begin for a search. Also remember that the feeling of anxiety are likely to intensify until the choice is made. 
again, we'll be talking about the fat and your task. Let's start with feeling. Feeling is started from uncertainty to optimism. Optimism, ibig sabihin, there is now a hopefulness or confidence about the successful outcome of our research. Actions involved naman sa selection stage natin would be searching for available information and thoughts would involve centering on weighing the criteria of your selected topic. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga criteria na to? The criteria would involve your Pikachu. Charot, hindi. The criteria would involve the following. One would be task requirement, time allotted, personal interest, and the information available. So, this would be your criteria for your selection of a topic. Nakuha niyo po ba? Okay, let us now have the task for your selection. The task for your selection would be to identify the topic or general topic and to identify the approach that you would be using. And that's it for your selection stage. Now, the question is, are you enjoying the phase of our discussion? We still have four stages left. The next stage that we will be talking about is called your exploration. Exploration is when inconsistent and incompatible information is encountered. Again, we'll be talking about the fatta. The feelings involved in your exploration would include confusion and doubt. Also, remember na pag patagal ng patagal, nag increase yung confusion and doubt natin. Kasi remember, we are exploring information. Actions involved in your exploration stage would involve locating information about the topic and reading to become informed. Thoughts, on the other hand, center on becoming oriented about the topic to form a focus para mas focus tayo. Yun yung iniisip natin. And for our task would be to investigate information on the general topic in order to extend personal understanding. So, mas iintindihin po natin kung ano ang meron sa ating general topic. Also, remember that your exploration stage is the most difficult stage on your ISP model. Bakit? Kasi nga sabi nga natin, pag nasa exploration stage tayo, informations can be inconsistent and incompatible. And when this happens, there can be a dip in confidence. Ibig sabihin, there is a lowering of your confidence. Now, we are halfway to our topic. Next stage is called your formulation. Formulation is when a focus perspective is formed. So, nakapag-form na tayo ng focus natin. Also, in your formulation, it is now the turning point of the ISP. Again, let's have your FATTA. The feelings involved in your formulation would be uncertainty, diminishes and now your confidence and clarity increases. Actions naman natin in your formulation would be seeking specific topic to pursue. Thoughts on the other hand would center on identifying and selecting ideas in the information. Again, gusto natin na nakafocus na tayo sa ating specific topic. Again, huwag niyong kakalimutan yung ating apat na criteria of selecting a topic. The task, ang question sa task is, what am I trying to accomplish? Pag time naman, how much time do I have? And interest, what do I find personally interesting? And fourth would be your availability. So, what is the or what information is available to me? So, huwag kakalimutan yung ating criteria of selecting a topic. Task in your formulation would be to form a focus from the information encountered. Okay, so let us now proceed to our second to the last ISP. Okay, so let us now proceed to our second to the last ISP model, which is called your collection. 
Collection is when interaction between the user and the information system functions most effectively and efficiently. So let us have the FATTA. For your feelings, it involves that confidence continue to increase as uncertainty subsides. And for your actions, would be selecting information relevant to the focus perspective of the topic or selecting the most relevant information. And for your thoughts, it centers on defining, extending, and supporting the focus topic. For the task in your collection would be to gather information related to the focus topic. So let us now proceed to our last stage of your ISP model which is called the presenting or your presentation. Presenting is when the search is completed with a new understanding which enables the person to explain his or her learning or in some, they may put the learning into use. Let us have the fatta of your presentation of your, or your presenting. Let us have the fatta of your presenting or presentation. Feelings would involve a relief and satisfaction or nagiging satisfied na tayo kasi yung research natin or yung pagsasearch natin ay nagawa ng mabuti. Pwede bang sa feelings dito magkaroon ng disappointment? Yes, pag hindi pa rin natin natatapos yung research natin ng mabuti. Actions involved would be summary search noting. Ibig sabihin, yung mga research natin is nanonote na natin kung ano dun yung mga pinaka-importante. Thoughts on the other hand centers on culminating the research wherein we make our personalized synthesis of the topic or problem. Tasks involved in your presenting or presentation would involve complete the search and to prepare to present. So that's it for our discussion. Again, don't forget your ISP, your information search process. And hey guys, if you enjoy the video, make sure you click the like, share the video, and subscribe. Bye guys, see you on our next class.